Hello and welcome back to another art vlog. I spent this morning titling and signing some digital prints that I've had done. In the past I have been quite sceptical of getting digital prints done and I always thought like I could just um, print my lino blocks myself but obviously that is super time consuming and you can't do that with things like paintings. So I got some digital prints done of a couple of paintings and one like drawing sketch which I quite liked and I wanted to add them into my next chop update which I'm not sure when it's going to be but digital prints are really good because they can be more affordable than lino prints and they're a lot easier to make so it's less time consuming for me and it just means that I can have like more stock in my shop and things so I'm really pleased with the quality of these they're on the most beautiful paper and I'm just really pleased with how they turned out because with the digital prints you just never know if you've like scanned the artwork well or how they're going to turn out so I was just really pleased that they turned out so well. I also added some little extra details onto these prints that I printed yesterday and I chose to use gouache for this because I did get some gouache for my birthday and I've been really enjoying experimenting with it and I just love the colours, they're so pigmented and they sit really really nicely on the paper so I wanted to see how they would sit on top of the printing ink that I used for these blocks I used the Cranfield Colours Safe Wash Relief Ink and the gouache sat really beautifully on top of it and I just really like how the colour turned out, it was super pigmented um, the reason why I wanted to do this was because I felt like the prints looked a little bit flat and uninteresting so I kind of wanted to add some little extra details just to bring them to life a bit more and add a new dimension to the print which I really think that adding the blue details did I think it really like livened up the vase on this and I think it definitely made it look a lot better and more interesting
A while ago now I actually painted some tote bags with fabric ink, I just painted a design on them and my intention was always to print over the top and do like kind of, I guess it's like a mixed media tote bag in a way even though it's just painting and printing but I've been wanting to do this for a while, I just haven't found the time to print on the tote bags because as I said I painted them, it must be like at least a month ago now, time really flies honestly um, so I just painted them with fabric paint and now I'm going to print some little flowers on top and I think that it's going to work really well. This is my favourite ink to use for fabric printing, it's the Speedball block printing fabric ink and I'm just using this really tiny flower stamp which I carved probably over a year ago now. I carved it originally to print on a t-shirt but it's been one of my favourites to print with because I just love adding like little details and things and it's not too in your face because it's quite small and it's kind of like a retro flower design which I was inspired by like the 1970s flower art and things like that so um, I thought that that would fit in quite well with the wiggly lines that I'd already painted on this bag and I wanted to use a little bit of a contrasting colour and this turquoise colour is one of my favourites from the Speedball block printing relief ink range they have so many really good colours and they are really pigmented a tip that I would have is to coat the lino or the stamp rubber in a really thick coat of ink. This just helps it to print more evenly and especially if you're using like a really textured fabric. The tote bags that I've got here, they're not too textured but they are like a thick cotton canvas so it does have some texture to it and there always will be like a bit of unevenness in the prints, that's just kind of the nature for fabric printing that i found anyways. I also popped into town just to grab some paper because I had completely run out. I hope you enjoyed following along with my day again, I really appreciate you watching and I will see you really soon with a new video.